here I am going to show you how to cover the cake with a marzipan and the royal icing. This is the traditional way of frosting the cake, especially the uh, fruit cake. I'm taking a board which is a little bit bigger than the cake and I'm adding royal icing at the base and keeping the cake layer first. Uh, here I did one mistake. You have to add the uh, marmalade or a jam uh, with little bit of water make it little bit watery and brush on each layer and then add the royal icing this will keep the cake moist uh, because the royal icing uh, will take out the moisture from the cake so you have to always brush each layer with the jam and then add the royal icing in between uh, if you're using a buttercream uh, no need to do the same thing and repeat the process with um, each step here both the cakes having a slight uh, uh, size difference uh, it doesn't matter because anyway we are going to cover it with the marzipan and royal icing uh, it's a fruit cake and if I level the cake the crumbs will be moved that's why I leave it like that uh, if you want you can level and then do the frosting by I, but I prefer this way and I am securing the layer with two skewers just insert that on both sides and the layers won't move again I am brushing the sides and the top with the jam which will help the marzipan to stick on it and stick on the cake place the candle which you are going to insert and make the marks and then cut out the extra cake now we are going to cover it with the marzipan I'm going to show you two methods one is paneling and the other one is the full covering paneling is a much easier method and I always prefer that uh, paneling you have to just take a longer rectangle or a just a longer sheet and co cover the sides of the cake and then cover the top of the cake here I am just uh, covering the sides first just press the edges with your fingers if you feel it is sticky take a little bit of butter and then smoothen the edges it's much easier and the bottom edges also you have to cut it out Now I am taking the smaller uh, round and adding on top of the cake. Again smoothen the sides by pressing it and pop the middle and make a hole to make the candle to sit and if there is any tear take an extra piece of marzipan and just cover. next method I'm going to show full covering the cake uh, always remember to take a double the size or more than that um, double the size of the cake or even much bigger because otherwise it will be very difficult to cover it I am not going to take it out like that uh, I'm adding on top of the cake along with the silicon mat otherwise it will tear it is not like a fondant it doesn't have any stretch or any gelatin or cmc or tylose so you have to add this way but uh, like i said i always prefer the paneling method if there is any wrinkles just smoothen with your fingers and if there is any ups and downs it doesn't matter because anyway we are going to cover it with the royal icing Now cut the extra from the uh, bottom edge and again I am uh, smoothing the edges with my fingers, uh, top also doing the same like the smaller cake, 
poke a hole and then cover it with the extra marzipan. Here we are going to do the uh, royal icing frosting. I am taking one egg white and one and a half cup of uh, sugar. Add the sugar little by little. If you find it is too runny add uh, extra sugar, powdered sugar and uh, if you find it is too stiff or thick. Uh, you can add few drops of water or a lemon juice. Here I am using uh, gel colors and along with the red I am using a few drops of yellow. I am adding the colors drop by drops because uh, it is helping me to uh, control the intensity whether we need a darker tone or a lighter tone. Uh, now you can add the lemon juice and after adding that I find the uh, frosting little runny uh, so I am adding extra 1 fourth cup of powdered sugar. We need a stiff frosting so you can uh, decide whether to add extra uh, powdered sugar or not. Uh, now it is ready to apply on the cake. Always uh, use a wet towel to cover the royal icing otherwise uh, there is a chance of drying out. Here I am uh, taking another board and adding little bit of royal icing and keeping the cake along with smaller board which we use. Always try to do the frosting with that uh, smaller cake board uh, which will be helping us to move uh, much easier to move to another place or any other board. Uh, otherwise it will be difficult to lift the cake and move to any other board or any other place. Start frosting from the sides and then move on to the top. Once you smoothen the edges, if you see if there is any holes or a uneven surface add extra frosting and again smoothen the edges. Cover the top of the cake also with frosting and uh, no need to make it extra smooth uh, surface because uh, it's a melted candle design so you can leave it like that itself. After this I am going to add the snowflakes. I have cut that in a gum paste. Just press on to the cake and once it is done brush the snowflakes with the gold dust powder. No need to add any vodka or lemon juice you can just uh, dust on top of that. Once you are done with the dusting, add the melted effect by piping the uh, royal icing. I have start from the uh, middle portion and some of the drips. Uh, it is a royal icing so it will not uh, drip like a chocolate one. So you have to start from uh, the middle portion and then go up and cover the candle area also with the frosting and uh, we are done. Now you can decorate the cake with the pine leaves or uh, cherries, uh, Christmas berries or uh, other decorative items. If you have any doubt, uh, please message me. Please subscribe and uh, share with your family and friends.